Navio kupenda Hungezeka Zaidi kila jioni mm. Are you? Fine. Great to see everyone here. Today is a big, big day. Uh, today is the day we launch a movement. Uh, the movement that has uh, taken a while to start. I know you all know the gentleman, the gentleman uh, in front of us. Uh, this is the sound, and this is the future of Kenyan music. So I don't want to say much. I'll allow these two great men to introduce themselves and then tell you exactly what you're doing on Friday. Can you, can you all right, hey everybody. My name is Ethan, Ethan Muziki. I'm a singer, songwriter, and a merchant of hope. Na Nico, very excited that you're here with us. We have super great news, Manzea Ni. It's been a fun Friday, I don't see Um Sets, sets, ni no masana. But yeah, to don't get a bit more about it. Yeah. Um, hi, guys. My name is Kinoti. I am a singer, songwriter, entertainment lawyer. And uh, yeah, just, just as uh, everyone who's talked before me has said, we are super, super excited for what you're about to do on Friday, and I am so glad that Ime, Ime phrase you as a movement because mm -hmm. I feel like that's exactly what this is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's about to be quite, quite an interesting end to the year. Yes, yes, yes. So ideally, um, what's happening me on Friday to Kona, one of the biggest shows, Manze to ever grace <laughs> our, our land. Um, we need to have echoes, city of love. It's a cool, uh, on Friday from 2 p.m. Yeah. Onwards till late. Um, yeah. at 12. Yes, yes. So it gets open at 12, but the show starts around 2 onwards. I love food. Yeah, it's uh, Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just us to um, trying to show people the power of collaboration, I guess. Mm. And uh, just this in itself has been a long time coming to make what Kipanga just to do to do something to show the people how much we can how much we can do. And I feel like this this is exactly what this is exactly what showcases what that is. And to make what ki to make what ki yonge asana, the planning of it has been amazing. And honestly we, we genuinely feel like there's nothing like this that has been done before. Yeah, genuinely. <laughs> Actually, at a, that's, that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. Like, when you me panga the sets, uh, ato kumi kuja show to before in the past, ama ukuje in the future. I think this particular one for Friday, ni un, extremely unique. Mm -hmm. um, because it's going to happen. I'm actually super glad in it a movement, which is like on stage props and everything that's going to happen. Ni kuonyesha tu what collaboration can be and what Kenyan music can actually offer. Yeah. Um, especially, just see to come na a lot of young, beautiful energy. So, Nico's super excited. Yeah. And then, just to give context on why we called it Echoes. Yeah. Um, when we're on stage, I, the one thing we feel in Akwanga so solid is the ringing out of voices. Was you come show to one of experience? Ukikapo evo from from where we see it, people are just singing along to the music the entire time. And if there's one place we know for for sure, what what could have been raising goma? Niapa kia ICC on Friday. So mtu akiweza pande za taoma ali atakuwa tu atakuwa na juli za watu na pigi anduru wapi? Yeah. And this will be the place. This yeah, will yeah. be exactly where it will be happening. No, it's definitely true. Like kuna patanga kuna time to show na hata unaweza acha tu kuimbokia mmo wache kuimba. Unaweza acha tu and wasi wana kuimbia and so you know feel like it's a, it's such a beautiful echo and that's the whole idea behind echoes that give your time your your sing along ability mm. yeah our songs it are yeah. extremely clear. Yeah. yeah. I, I think we can open space now for the questions. So yeah. All right, this question. Oh, thank you so much. I'm Makena. Love it, Makena. So, uh, this question particularly goes to Churchill. We know you as the father of comedy. I know, I know it because I just wanted to go, I'm coming there. So, Makuja <laughs> as the father of comedy. So, um, why music now? Why you know? You support a lot of talents, but you must be major with comedy. Why music? Yeah, uh, 
I beg to correct you on that. <laughs> Actually, it's all talent. Yes. Because uh, uh, way before this, we've done half the band, Yunasi and all these other big, 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 um, big sound, uh, including Saudi. Yeah. Uh, the unique thing about Ethan and Kinoti, they remind me of where uh, the real classic Kenya music began, when we had safari sounds, uh, music that we could export to the rest of the world. I know you know that a song of Jambo Buana, uh, uh, the mushrooms, um, and uh, what they're trying to create is a unique sound for Kenya, just like what Oliver Mtukuzi was able to do uh, down in, in the south. So it's so amazing. And what made me want to be part of what they're doing and uh, give my little support is they've really been ignored by the mainstream media because mainstream media believe there's a certain sound that the radio station or television channel should listen to. Uh, so it's more Afro, more Mapiano, more Bongo. Uh, theirs is so authentic and that's what is exciting. If you saw their performance at Sarit, you saw everybody singing word to word. That means they're already creating their own movement. And uh, it's so exciting, we live in exciting times to see you guys come up with a, a sound uh, that we can all celebrate. And uh, we live in interesting times. So this is the future, this is the movement. And it, we just get it started. Yeah, and thanks for also believing in me. <laughs> okay, a question to Ethan and Kinoki. Last time you saw your show at Sarit and people were so happy. And you know, right now we have high expectations yeah. for you guys. Maybe how ready are you? And also, yeah. uh, maybe in Kitugani, Kitugani, you, you believe so much in church. Of course, we have so many people, but you decided to work with church. Why? Thank you. So, we, first of all, luckily we have been performing for the longest time because. Yes, yeah. for, for some purposes, we mm -hmm. can move closer to the. Okay. okay. So, we have been performing for the longest time. Um, at a, at a, interestingly, when you do church, uh, direction we take with our music, still particularly chasing anything mainstream, we create communities. So for us to create communities, we had to play so many shows and, and, and you know, the people to interact now. And so we find uh, already, even before we started planning this show, already we have a lot of hours of experience in terms of playing live. So now when we were thinking about this show, it was what we could just show Zetu, Najwa. So, to tell Patiya Nini, either Kao me Kao Mamu Jai Kao, this one is just going to be extremely different. And so, even before we announced the show, already we got many rehearsals. It's been like, that has been so many hours of rehearsals, overnight rehearsals. I feel like we are, we are extremely ready. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd say one thing um, that I love about Churchill, honestly, is, is just his purity and his readiness to support. He has been such an instrumental part in helping us curate this show, and I feel like we wouldn't have done it this way with anyone else, honestly. Like, it was just aligned for it to happen, and that's one, one thing I'm super, super grateful for it happening. Ilikwatuni, the things that you just say, zili, 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 kwa designed to happen, which for us has been quite, quite a beautiful journey, yeah. There's, there's someone who said, who sang, Kama, Kama, Zipo Miyaka Saba? Ndiyo Tulikana? Miyaka Saba? Miyaka Kaa Nane? Miyaka Kaa We can't wait. <laughs> so these guys need to go out there. It's interesting. When you go to the sponsors and they'll say, ah, but we, yeah, we just have to do something special. Then from there, I think after Friday we'll have a very different discussion. It was the same when we were starting comedy. Um, it, does, it didn't matter how funny you are, but uh, can, can you talk like more? Because at that time it was ridiculous. And so it was very hard to get gigs back then. Uh, but with time, for sure, it was not easy. <laughs> so we want, to, we want to capture what they have, and they are hungry for success. We need to capture that, and I'm sure uh, you great people are going to support this initiative. Uh, we play more Kenyan music. We love our own. 
and we push this agenda, we just be specific, deliberate, that we want something, a great sound, uh, to come out of this place, Kenya. And I'm glad these two gentlemen are leading that cause. So I hope we're going to get that support. We can support. Yes. Uh, okay. Do it for the next generation. Sound, sound. Are you, are you working as a manager or many partnership? No, no, I can't manage them. These guys are big. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are huge. But, uh, I'm just offering my little support in terms of production, advice. Uh, we just get started. Then the rest will they'll figure it out. They'll choose their managers. They'll choose uh, the record label they want to sign up with. Me, uh, you're to the initial push uh, to answer my Kupenda hungezeka zaidi kila jioni na vyo kupenda hungezeka zaidi kila jioni 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 kila jioni Gioni, 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 Kila Gioni. Just, just a quick question. Uh, maybe can you tell us how you guys, the two of you, how you meet and uh, maybe what has kept you together? Because you know, working together, uh, it's not easy, but you guys are still working together. We would like to know how you guys feel. Okay, so Ethan and I met at a competition um, like three years ago. We were competing for a guitar and uh, he ended up winning. I came in third. So what happened after that, he'd seen some of my performances. I was just starting out in playing music, uh, performing rather. So he saw some of the songs that I performed and he was like, you know what, I think this song would do so good in studio, you should come through and then we record. We recorded the song and then we lost the files. But later on, um, having seen the experience of what that was for me, I was like, you know what, I actually want to do, I, wa I want to record my music. So I hit him up like five, six months later and I was like, I think I want, I, I think I'm ready. And he was like, you know what, let's do it. So from three years ago, we've just been working together, making music when we can, um, just pushing each other. And I'd yeah. say he literally just got me into the game, man. So yeah. Yo, and it's, it's, it's so interesting that you're saying it like that, Ju. I, I feel like the moment Kin and I started working together, Push yake yani the way anajituma, the way anaweka kazi. Nkama it helps to keep my fire burning, you know. Jumna juu kiwa ukipatana na mtu na pia ako as excited about music as you are. I, you feel like you're not alone in the journey. So thank you, man. Ah, thank you, Maisie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, just to ask, because uh, I've seen you quite a number of uh, times performing before. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I stand corrected. To work with King Kaka, Kaka Empire. Yes, so how, how is it from when you started to now? And uh, number two, what, because Saudi Soul has announced they are, you know, they, they are closing down Saudi Soul. Uh, do you think you're the next Saudi Soul? Are you taking the space or who, who do you want to take the space if it's not you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, the journey for me genuinely has been very eye-opening. Kuna vitu mingi ze nimelan along the way. Kuna so many people in me meet along the way. Uh, so, apo, apo dune za sema, the journey imekua poa. Uh, just isn't that too much into the details. Lakini, um, about, the second question is about? Um, uh, South Iso. About South Iso. Huh. Well, I feel like we... we I genuinely I really love South Soul, obviously, man Zeani Vito Mifanya for the industry. Uh but Labda ni we are not particularly a band. Yeah. Yeah, so ni mingumu ku kusema we are the next South Soul. But na feel wame 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 
Tengen is a very beautiful way for everybody. Yeah. Uh, at least if you're in a manager, we can also create things now from when you are in your way. Yeah, to not take a standard in your way, and we're like, okay, if that is achievable, what more can we achieve yeah. with the amount of time that they have? Yeah. And pay not to pay two goals to Nangaliat, like, okay, or my fika level flani, it's only fair that we surpass that because yeah. it's. It's 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 eye opening for the generation in it to come. So that ten years down the line, when people look at us, they're like, you know what? Ethan and Kinoti got to a certain point. I think it's about time we surpassed it. Yeah. Just to bring that culture, to bring that, to bring that psyche. Yeah. yeah. You know, vitu vitu zingine ziyachekuka unachievable. Like yeah. playing stadiums and doing yeah. all these things yeah. that are done around the world. We want to make them happen, and I feel like it's about time yeah. we got to to doing that. Yeah. yeah. But the, the reason why I've said South is because. The journal that you're doing is almost the same. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you're doing a journal that uh, almost looks the same as Saudi Sun. Now, uh, do you think wow, what he, what he break up and, and of course they're going to be single artists, mm -hmm. do you think that you, know, you can give a push to be able to get to the standard that they were? Uh, oh, I get you. No, genuinely, I um, actually feel like when people will start to talk about like the journey of Kenyan music, and I feel Nikama with what we are doing, yeah. this is a pivot. Itakuwa kutakona very significant moments of time that people will be talking about, and this moment, two independent artists, anyway, we are not even trying to be mainstream, filling up stadiums, yeah. you know, filling up malls that is in a shutdown. about and one of those things itakuwa KICC. So I feel like to go genuinely in that in that trajectory and in that space already yeah yeah what um like big kenyan artists are doing and so i'm, I'm happy that to go your um space uh, the vision can only grow bigger and i feel like friday for us is is the beginning of something new yeah. not only for us but for so many people the the levels to which kenyan music can the heights to which kenyan music yeah. can go to it was so clear that by the time tuna, tuna, tuna angalia back on Friday, on yeah. Saturday or Sunday, people yeah. will be like, you know what, we as Kenyan artists can actually do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, maybe lastly, you can't go without uh, me asking this uh, <laughs> question. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know it's, it's just a common one. Was that uh, stage in Ulipanda and people didn't give you the fact that you, you were expecting? Um, has there been one? And number two, uh, <laughs> I feel like for, for me, these experiences in Mekua, but way earlier on, um, I think like two years back, I was playing at a show, and then um, after I did like two songs, actually, it's only my friends, like five of them, were um, and then and then just some few other people. It was at a club, per se. And then after playing my first three songs, the person who was emceeing, Akaniambia ni nyamaze DJ Acheze, wasewa mesema wanataka kuenzo DJ kiasi. So that's, that's happened to me, honestly. Ilikuwa demoralizing, but inakupia tuyo bidi ya kusonga. Yeah. Okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Perhaps to add on what... Iso kwa mza kwa kwa toka stage ni za comedy. Where? This yeah. one is a comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, perhaps if I was to add on your Sautia and my Sauti song, they also uh, work with Sauti so closely. Uh, one thing about life, the only ch thing that, that never changes, it changes up. And every generation has its own uh, Joshua. Uh, so the Sauti soul uh, uh, to make one now for that while and they've done tremendously well for industry and for Africa. And, and they'll always be there. Uh, what are Kina Ita and Kinotia bringing? They are the new Joshua into the village. Just like what's happening in COVID. And it's a beautiful thing to see this happening in our lifetime. Yeah. Kuna any surprise at Friday? Of course, it's a one-man show. But like a surprise, maybe some collaboration that he's working on and was done on Friday. When I want to make a new video on the love? Yes, kuna ziko actually ziko kuna songs <laughs> and release zenye tuta tutafanya ka spice up na some of them I think around two of them at least in my set are um, people that I'm sure you will love. Yeah. Ha. Tabidi Friday mkuti. See how it is. So another question is uh, uh, 
this Friday, have you invited the other artists to uh, join us? Yes, yes, yes. So as I exactly, um, Utakona, already since we have collaborations we released in the past, yeah. some of them will join. And then you to me work on, to me a few to that 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 to Yangu naita sway, so ni kama Swahili na, na R&B na neo soul. But over time, I feel like the more to nafanya kazi, the more it end I like, you define exactly what the music is. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's 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 also just a fusion of Afro soul yeah. and just R&B. Just trying to quote unquote Africanize it. Just find a way to express ourselves within the R&B and Afro soul space. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. I think we can finish yeah. Finally, do you know the future, guys? The future is this. Yeah. The future is you guys. Yeah. So you take this sound and take it to the rest of the world. Can we do that? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much.